What's up guys, this is Matthew from Matthew's 3D Printing. So, we've all had that situation where we find an awesome model, we download it, but it turns out it's way too big for our printer, or sometimes even it's just a little bit too big for our printer. Problem is, a lot of people that don't have any modeling experience are stuck at that point and they don't know what to do. They can scale it, but then it throws off the model, and so they really don't have any options. So I'm going to show you what to do using Windows 3D Builder, which is free software. It comes with Windows 10. You can find it in the Windows Store, made by Microsoft for free. So when you open it up, this is what you get. So you can open up a new scene. You can, you know, open up a file. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open up a file. And we're just going to come here and pick out a Benchy. Now in here, you can find there's a whole bunch of different models and stuff. But we can all go into that later. Today, we're just going to stick to the point. So we import our model. Click Import Model. And we can see, oh, there's something wrong with it. This happens a lot when you import a model. But, you know, typically this will mean you might have a problem slicing. Sometimes it means it's totally fine. But the nice thing is to fix it, all you do is click here to repair. It takes a minute. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I mean, still not that long, probably like 30 seconds. But, so, all we're going to do is select our model, come in here to split. Now, depending on where you want to split it, you can just do it like that. Come here, it's like 90 degrees. You know, you click on this little arrow to choose the direction that you want to rotate it in. You can rotate it along the x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, whatever you want. So we're just going to do it like that. We're going to slide it forward just a little bit and select keep both because we want both the top and the bottom half of our model. Hit split. So, I mean, at this point, you could say, okay, I'm done. I have the two parts of my model. Go print them separately. But just to make it a little bit better, in case you want to have a better way to hook them together than just, you know, two flat surfaces, we're going to make a key um, or a peg, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to go to insert, cube, take our cube, click on the scale, click on the thing right here, and just scale it down quite a bit. We're going to turn on x-ray view just to make this a little easier on ourselves. We're going to move it here with this arrow, move it up that way. There it is. Now, I want it to be a little bit stronger than that, so we're going to stretch it out this way, stretch it out that way. And there we go. We can see it's centered on our model. And we have a peg. But we're going to want to make a copy of it. Now, I will show you why in just a second. So, Control-C, Control-V, and there's a copy of our peg. So, now, it's kind of hard to select the peg on the inside. You just come right here, click Select. Now, go to Edit, click Subtract. That will subtract the peg from any object that is touching. So now if we open this up, you can see there's a hole in these two models where that peg used to be. Now here's the part where 3D modeling meets the practicality of 3D printing. If you try to print this peg, it will probably be a little bit too big for your hole. Because printer's tolerances, at least your average budget printer, aren't that tight. At least mine aren't. And so I will normally bring it in and scale it down just a little bit. So in this case, I'm scaling the percentage. I'm going to scale it down to like 22%. Actually, that's probably a little bit too much. We're going to do 23%. That's a little bit better. And inches. Because I figure I can always just pat it a little bit with a little bit more glue. Or, I mean, you could also sand it down, but I prefer to add a little more glue than to spend a while sanding stuff down. So there you go. You have your different parts. Now we want to just arrange this. You know, so it's a little easier for printing. You can do this in Cure as well, but I prefer doing it in Windows 3D Builder. It's a little easier. Do that, and there you go. Arrange it however you want to print it. Typically, I will set um, put them into three different files just because I find it's easier to arrange them on the printing bed. But in, now in less than five minutes, you've learned how to take a large object, split it in two smaller ones, and as a bonus, make a key so that they fit together stronger. Obviously, you can use a cylinder, you can do lots of different keys, you can split one object multiple times, really however you want to do it. But that's the basics of how to do it using a Benchy. So now we're ready to finish. So here's one thing. This is a .3MF file, which is built for Windows 3D Builder. Now, if you save it right now, it'll save it as that. But Cura, you know, and 3D models in general are typically used typically use the STL format. So you're going to want to do save as and switch to SCL. If you do save like that, it'll ask you if you're sure you want to save using this format. And you can say yes, you know, because that's what you're going to do. But I like to keep a backup, one of .3MF and STL, because STL won't recognize these as separate objects when you bring them in. It'll treat it all as one big object. But anyways, there you go. That's how to split an object into multiple parts and arrange it for printing using free software. And it only takes a minute. 
So there you go. Let me know if you'd like to have any other videos made. And I would really appreciate it if you guys like and subscribe to my channel. And leave me a comment on what you think or what videos you want to see next. Have a great day.